What is happening, Magnus Sykes? President Trump has something to say about what's been going on, and he's going to talk about the sound of freedom. To host a screening at Bedminster of the important new film, Sound of Freedom, about the power of faith in overcoming evil, and in particular, the evil of child trafficking. Big problem. We had it down to the lowest number in many years, just four years ago, and now it's gone through the roof. Hmm. Even though the fake news media has tried to ignore it, Sound of Freedom has been a national sensation and a colossal success at the box office. Really big numbers. Everyone should see it. This is a very important film and very important movie, and it's a very important documentary all wrapped up in one. It's really my review. about an issue that has to be discussed. Under my leadership, we Protect did more than any administration in history to combat human trafficking and to end modern-day slavery. In one of my first acts in office, I signed an executive order targeting transnational criminal organizations that traffic and exploit innocent people. I signed the Frederick Douglass Trafficking Victims Prevention and Protection Reauthorization Act, authorizing $430 million to fight sex and labor trafficking. I signed legislation to crack down on foreign countries who are not meeting standards for eliminating trafficking, mm. of which there are many. I also signed into law the Abolish Human Trafficking Act, which strengthened programs supporting survivors and provided more resources for ending modern slavery. We do have modern slavery, if yeah. you can believe it. Additionally, I created the first ever White House position focused solely on combating human trafficking. And perhaps most importantly, we created the most secure border in U.S. history by far, dealing a major blow to the cartels and traffickers. We built hundreds of miles of wall. We renovated hundreds of miles of wall. We never had anything like it. And then I got Mexico free of charge to give us 28,000 soldiers to protect us from people coming into our country illegally. When I am back in the White House, I will immediately end the Biden border nightmare that traffickers are using to exploit vulnerable women and children. We will fully secure the border. I will wage war on the cartels just as I destroyed the ISIS caliphate, 100 percent gone, 100 percent destroyed. They'll come back now because we have a weak administration. I will use Title 42 to end the child trafficking crisis by returning all trafficked children to their families in their home countries and without delay. And I will urge Congress to ensure that anyone caught trafficking children across our border receives the death penalty immediately. And that includes also for women, because women, as you know, are number one in trafficking. Children are actually number two. I want to thank Eduardo, mm. Jim, Tim Ballard, and everyone else involved in this film for their incredible efforts and their great genius. Together, we will end the scourge of human trafficking, and we will defend the dignity of human life. Thank you very much. Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, he gets all that put in. I bet you he's going to be a whole lot less. A whole lot of people are going to think before trying to traffic people. It's a sick and disgusting thing that has been going on. You know, man has been enslaving each other. Probably, <laughs> I mean, what, th yeah, thousands of years. You know what I mean? I was going to say probably since our inception, but um, I mean, it depends on what you're looking at historically. But God, man, something's got to put a stop to it. I saw the sound of freedom. Don't let the news talk you into not seeing it. It's worth checking out. It's worth seeing with an open mind uh, and then making your decision on it. It is worth seeing. Um, you know, I had, you know, people had told me there were certain reviewers out there that didn't want to look at it. And I'm like, I don't, I could understand it if it, it was something you felt would make you emotional. Cause even me, like I, you know, there's certain things once you find out, once you see them, it, you know, especially when it has to do with, you know, children, you're just like, I, I just don't want to, you know, and, um, I forgot whose review I saw. Did I see Jeremy's? I can't, can't remember who I saw, but something made me, I forgot what I told you guys. I can't remember. I saw somebody's review, I think first, 
and it hit them so hard. I was just like, you know what? All right, I'll take a look at it. And I'm glad that I did. My eyes are open more now to it. And I think a whole lot of other people's eyes are open more to what is going on. Um, everything he said, for the most part, sounded good. Uh, I don't know. See, here's the problem. I'm not sure if the death penalty is 100% perfect for that. However, depending on the situation, I do believe life without parole or death is probably best. Because the stuff that they do, they destroy millions of lives with what they do. Children, women, and men. And these are people that never see, end up never seeing their families again. They die in slavery. Or, um, like they said, you know, some are even used for organ harvesting. I'm like, oh my God! Like, you're killing people then for their organs. So, the depending on the specifics of what your job is in it, you know, but, you know, um, here's my thing, you know, in certain other countries, you know, the penalties are really high for certain crimes. So a lot of them, they just have low crime. I mean, in certain countries, you, you can get your hand cut off still. Think about that. How many of y'all be stealing? Say, say, even if you pirated something, you downloaded something you wasn't supposed to, and you knew. You knew you was on a pirate site. Imagine if you had to lose your left hand because of that. Imagine that. Once they, yep, yep, stick it out. Chop, chop. Imagine that. You know, so, um, you know, I think harsh penalties for certain um, acts definitely, you know, are warranted. I don't know if anyone should lose their hand for stealing. You know, sometimes people are just extremely hungry. You know, but you know, it's, it's a lot of details we need to discuss with, with with certain things. But with this, with the human trafficking, after I saw that that movie, because we know worse is happening. That was a movie. They intertwined certain camera footage in the movie, real camera footage, and I'm just like. These heartless bastards just snatching these children. And you're telling me that they're selling these children for that. I mean, like, you know, because certain people see that, you know, for grapes, for grapes, you should be uh, put to death, you know. So, um, um, you know, it's because you're taking something from someone and destroying them psychologically in such a way that they may never have a normal life again. And grapes, just remove the G. Y'all know what it is. So, um, just can't say certain words for YouTube's algorithm, you know. So, um, sounds like he's, uh, you know, and he said he's going to he's make it hard for certain countries that aren't cracking down on it. I find that interesting. It's like, I don't know if it's tariffs or what, but if it's kind of like, look, if you are not handling this whole human trafficking thing, then we're not really going to deal with you. You don't have these benefits of dealing with the United States in certain areas if you are not handling this human trafficking problem. I find that interesting. You know, show us that you're really about your people and about human life, and then we'll work with you. I find that very interesting. Interesting train of thought with that. Well, what do you think? Do you agree with him? Do you not? I agree with him. Almost 100%. I'm just not sure, depending on the specifics on the human trafficking, if you should get death or not, depending on what they did. You know, like, I don't know. But to me, you know, Life in prison, or you get you get in death. You know what I mean? It's probably one of the two, I mean, as far as I'm concerned. You know, so um, 
Post comments down below. Let me know what you think. 10 million subscribers.